Hello guys, welcome to my video series tutorial to talk about Microsoft Semantic Kernel. In this video, I am going to discussing the next major changes in Semantic Kernel version 1.0 that is Action Planner. Now the Action Planner has been completely removed in Semantic Kernel. Instead of that, we have to use the Azure OpenAI function calling techniques. So we have to use this concept to achieve the same what Action Planner has provided previously. Actually, the action planner first introduced in Semantic Kernel and we used our applications. Later, OpenAI has been implemented this function calling techniques. It's, a, it's almost same approach in action planner. So, Semantic Kernel team has been decided to remove this action planner instead of that they used the function calling techniques only. So, in this video, I'm going to talk about this function calling. So, how to implement this feature in Semantic Kernel. Let's start. Here I have created the base code, I created the kernel builder and I import the location plugin. The next step, I am going to create prompt settings. So here I define open AI prompt settings. So where open AI prompt settings equal to new of open a prompt execution settings here i'm going to define my max token so the max token is 50 the next property i'm going to add tool call behavior initially it's called as function call behavior in open a side recently they renamed function call to the tool call so in semantic kernel also they keep the same name tool call behavior here we have to set the option you want to automatically invoke the function or you want to enable manual at the moment i go with this manual mode so i select this option enable kernel functions that's it so our setting is ready the next step, we are going to connect to the Azure OpenAI service. For that, we need the interface. So the interface called interface I chat complete service. So we have to create the service object. So chat completion not settings here service where chat completion there should be git create service. So if you pa pass this interface, our object is ready, chart completion service. So our service is ready. Once our service is ready, we can now communicate to the Azure OpenAI. So for this, where result equal to await chart completion service dot get chat message content async. This function we have to use to communicate to the Azure OpenAI. The first parameter is a prompt or you can pass a chat history. The chat history, it's contained the role information also. We use a system assistant tool. There are different kind of roles available. For each request, we can add this chat history to send to this API. Or you want to only one time execution, you can directly use the prompt and get your answer. But I go with this chat history. So for that, first I need to create the chat history object. Here I create the chat history object. So chat history where chat history, go to new of chat history, chat history dot add. So as I mentioned, user message, assistant, system message, if you want, you can message also you can use, but the first parameter you have to pass the role. Or you can directly use which message you want to use. At the moment, I want to use only the user message. So directly call this function and the prompt I have to pass. Prompt is a user input. So the user input at the moment, I, I hard code it. I need history information of Bangalore. So this information passed to the chat history. This is the first parameter. So chart history ready. The second parameter is the settings. 
So we have already created the settings, open AI prompt settings, open AI prompt settings. The third parameter, kernel. So our kernel object we have to pass. Our kernel object is called kernel builder. This argument, it's ready. So once it's connected to the Azure Open AI service executed, the next we have to check. So here I add a function tool calls. Okay, where function tool calls, don't move to this one. So here we have to call the function get open a function tool calls. It's available in the result value. There is a catch here because this function written the chat message content here but the get open AI function tool calls available in the open AI chat message content. So we have to convert this result into open AI chat message content. So first statement here I convert where open AI chat message content equal to open AI chat message content. So the result parameter we have to convert it. So the conversion is ready. The next line open AI chat message content dot get open AI function tool calls. So this function written any after the call of this one get chat message content we have to call any function or not so this function written the collection of open a tool call that means function call so here we loop one by one for each function call i just make a here function tool that's it so this is not needed. Here we are going to invoke our functions. So at the moment I added only one function here, the plugin import direction I imported only location that I'm going to call here. So we have to get the function from our kernel object because we imported our function in kernel builder. So the function available in the kernel builder. First we have to take our function from this kernel builder to take that one we have to use kernel builder that's our kernel object dot plugins dot here you can see try get function and the arguments this function we have to use this api so the first parameter is a open a tool function call so that is our first argument here function tool function tool the second parameter is a kernel function so here out that means out parameter out where called as kernel function the third argument third parameter is the argument out so out kernel arguments so that's it i can use where So we get the function details. The next step, we have to call this function. So where function result equal to await kernel builder kernel builder dot invoke async. So this function we have to use. The first parameter is a kernel function that's available here the kernel function so here i have to pass a kernel function the next argument is a argument kernel argument that i pass it here so it's not null so i add no need to check null thing that's it so our function result is ready 
so once you executed we have to read the value so var function response equal to function result dot get value so this value is a string here that's it so the next line you have to print the result console dot right line function response that's it if you want to store this response also in our chat history still you can do that so here we have to add a chat history dot add message role here role is tool because the function call response so we have to use this option tool the next argument is a response so the function response that's it that's it finally we print console dot right line final result here we print console dot read you can see the result and one more changes i do just for changing the color so here i made as green now i change to yellow so we can see the difference in the output okay i added the breakpoint here we start the application so i make this is a startup project started so this statement has been executed here there is no result but our main focus here is this get open ai function tool calls so execute this line so there is one function call available that we have imported in plugin history plugin so the history plugin here the function name history and other information available that's fine we go into the loop so we pass this information to the kernel object and we get the function name and the arguments related to our function call so once it's ready then kernel object call this function and we get the result some bangalore information and we print the result and add it to the chat history so the chat history you can see the two count available because first count we added the user message i need history information of bangalore the second entry is a tool that function call message the value is available in the content that's it so free run the application we can see the result so this is exactly what the action planner did now we are using the same concept using the function call techniques i hope you can understand how to use azure function a calling in semantic kernel thanks to all